we could have a geometrical understanding of physics. Huygens' principle explains light as spherical waves, and in this theory, we have to square the radius of the sphere because the process is relative to the two-dimensional spherical surface. The two-dimensional surface forms a dynamic manifold with the outer surface forming positive charge and the inner concave surface forming negative charge. We have a geometrical process that starts with the absorption and emission of light photon energy with the electron squared and with the speed of light squared and ends with falling bodies being directly proportional to the square of the time they take to fall. Within this geometrical process, Newton's inverse square law of gravity is a secondary process to emergent electromagnetic fields that are unfolding photon by photon. But above all, this geometrical process gives us a deeper understanding of time. Within an individual reference frame, the absorption of light always comes before the emission, forming an arrow of time within that reference frame. The spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy is represented by the quantum wave particle function, forming a square of probability, with potential photon energy continuously transforming into kinetic energy of matter in the form of electrons. Kinetic energy is the energy of what is actually happening. In this way, we have an emergent, uncertain future that is continuously unfolding.